Good afternoon, my friends. Happy Monday to all of you. So there is breaking news today. There are several huge social security changes that may be coming very soon for millions of Americans. And these changes include benefit boosts and requirement adjustment. Many low to middle income households will be financially affected by these new changes to the program. So please make sure you watch until the end of this video, especially if you are a social security recipient. I will be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. Please enter the giveaways by clicking and liking several of my videos and then commenting below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chance of winning the giveaway. An amazing feat. In 18 months, they've taken an economy that was ready to soar and completely derailed it with $2 trillion in unnecessary borrowing, printing, and spending. Now, 9.1% inflation is pinching hardworking Americans every time they visit the gas pump or the grocery store. The Biden administration has tried their hardest to find a silver lining amid the economic storm clouds they helped create. They've touted the strength of consumer spending to conclude our economy is strong. That's what they said. Well, of course, consumer spending has only gone up because the price of nearly everything has increased. A recent economic analysis shows the American people do spend more on gas, groceries, furniture, and clothes than we used to. <laughs> but listen to this, adjusted for inflation, they're actually consuming less, paying more, getting less. Parents of school-aged kids are some of the hardest hit. Four in 10 say they won't go back to school, won't, won't go back to school shopping before the upcoming school year. One young mother in Nevada says she'll pick out one or two shirts for her daughter, and that's it. Inflation has made everything else too expensive. Over in Arizona, inflation forces the average household to spend over $9,600 more a year compared to when President Biden took office. Many families simply don't have that much wiggle room in their budgets and are resorting to desperate measures simply to stay afloat. One Phoenix area food bank has seen a 78% increase in visitors compared with just last year. 78% more families who simply can't afford to live in this Democrat-run economy. A woman in line at the food bank said she'd never needed to visit one before, but the prices are way too high right now to support four children on her husband's salary. Colorado families are facing the highest inflation costs in the nation, in the whole country. Nearly $10,900 in extra spending per year compared to the beginning of the Biden administration. Not surprisingly, Coloradans are falling behind on paying for daily necessities. So friends, I know many of you are wondering about Social Security benefits. For the last 10 years or so, Social Security has been a fairly static program with few major changes. But when inflation makes big news, so too does Social Security. This is because so many aspects of the program are tied to the changes in the cost of living. Many Americans learned that for the first time in 2022, when Social Security retirement payments were increased by 5.9% to account for rising inflation. With half of 2022 in the books now, the potential adjustment that might hit Social Security for 2023 are now coming into focus. So friends, some of the important changes that both current workers and retiree beneficiaries should start preparing for in 2023. The 5.9% increase in the Social Security cost of living adjustment in 2022 was the largest jump since the 7.4% hike in 1982. That is a whopping 40 years ago. 
But inflation in 2022 has only continued to accelerate. And it seems all but inevitable at this point that the COLA for 2023 will even be larger. Many analysts predict that the bump could be as high as 10% based on current inflationary trends. Although the Consumer Price Index, or CPI, is often quoted as the inflation rate, the Social Security Administration actually uses what is known as a Consumer Price Index for urban wage earners and clerical workers. The SSI uses the CPIW reading at the end of the third quarter to determine the following year's COLA. So that is a number to keep your eye on. The wage base in 2021 was $142,800, but the high rate of inflation in 2021 pushed that number to 2.9% higher. So friends, workers should expect another bump in 2023. This means high earners should expect to pay more in Social Security taxes. So friends, if you file for Social Security benefits before full retirement age, and continue to earn income, your benefits may be temporarily reduced. However, the limits of how much you can earn and still avoid this benefit reduction are also subject to annual adjustment. And you can expect another one in 2023. For 2022, workers who earn less than $19,560 per year or $1,630 per month were exempt. Workers exceeding this limit face a reduction in benefits of $1 for every $2 they earned above this limit. So friends, it is important to note that these benefit reductions are only temporary. Once a worker reaches full retirement age, they receive adjusted payments reflecting the payment of previously withheld benefits. Although all of these potential changes for 2023 are notable, probably the biggest question about Social Security is what it will look like by the mid-2030s. And at that point, the SSA anticipates that Social Security Trust Fund will be exhausted. While Social Security will continue to pay benefits, and that's thanks to payroll taxes on current workers, estimates see benefit levels dropping to 80% of current levels. Although some type of legislative solution is likely to crop up over the next decade, both current workers and retirees should keep an eye on ongoing developments. So friends, what are your thoughts on this? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Friends, if you would like to enter tomorrow's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is mango and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure that you're also subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Monday.